Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on finding first and second derivative for a given function. Let's get started. We're going to use the quotient rule here. First derivative equal to derivative of the first one, which is 1, x minus 1 squared, so leave the bottom alone, minus the derivative of the second one, leave the first one alone, which is 2, x minus 1 to the 1. The whole thing divided by x minus 1 to the fourth. We're going to square the bottom, basically. Let's take a look. So we have a common factor of x minus 1. So the first time when I cancel it out, I have x minus 1 minus 2x and x minus 1 to the third. So basically, top and bottom, I simplified. Now this one, I have minus x minus 1, x minus 1 to the third. Okay, that's my first derivative. Let's do it again for the second derivative. Uh, let's clean this one up a little bit. Plus 1, it's minus 1 to the cube. Okay, derivative of the first term, which is minus 1. Leave the first, uh, second one on the bottom alone. Minus the first derivative, leave the first one alone. So this one will have a plus sign because this will start with those minus. Derivative of the denominator, which is 3x minus 1 squared. And the bottom I'll have to the 6th power. Okay. Clean it up a little bit so I have a common term x minus 1. So the first term I'll have a minus x minus 1 plus a minus 1. So it's a 3x plus 3. because This time it cancels out x minus 1 to the 4th on the bottom. Okay. Let's open up and then we're almost there. Minus x plus 3x plus 1 so it's plus 4 x minus 1 to the fourth, and then the one more term, so I have 2x plus 4 on the top, divided by x minus 1 to the fourth on the bottom. All right, hope this helped. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Please direct your future questions to my Facebook page. Here's the Facebook page number, facebook.com slash Math. Till next time, have a confident day.